Hello everyone, welcome to Lake Code Programming. Today we are going to discuss one of the binary tree problems. So the problem is finding the maximum depth of the given binary tree. Let's say we have uh, we have a binary tree. We need to find its maximum depth. So what is a maximum depth? So how do we define the maximum depth of a binary tree? So here it goes. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. So as you know, a leaf node is a node with no children. So when you consider all the leaf nodes in the tree, you have a path from root node till the uh, for every leaf node. So you need to consider all these paths and find the longest path uh, among all these and then return number of nodes in the uh, longest path. So let's see an example here. So we have a binary tree 3, 9, 20, null, null, 15, 7, 15, 7. So the tree looks like this. So the root node is 3 and the root node has two uh, subtrees, left subtree and right subtree. As you know, binary tree has uh, at most two children. And you have uh, 20 is having again uh, 15 and 7 as children. So when we consider all the paths, so let's say uh, the leaf nodes here are uh, 9, 15 and 7. So these three are the leaf nodes. So the paths will be uh, 3 and 9 is one path, 3, 20, 15 is one more path, 3, 27 is the last path. So you have three paths here. We need to find the longest path out of all these. So here we have two paths which are equal. So either it can be 3, 20, 15 or 3, 27. So the maximum depth here is 3 because you have three nodes in that path. So how do we approach this problem? Uh, if you if you would have uh, solved uh, a binary tree problems before, uh, it should be pretty easy. Anyway, let's uh, look at one example in detail so we can get uh, more idea. Let's say we have the binary tree like this. The root of the tree is 3, so we need to find the longest path uh, from root till the uh, leaf node. So uh, we need to start from the root node 3, so we need to find the maximum depth. So to find the maximum depth for the node 3, we need to find what is the maximum depth of its left subtree and then find what is the maximum depth of its right subtree. So the maximum depth for uh, the node 3 will become maximum of these two, maximum of left subtree and right subtree plus 1. You have to add 1 because you have to consider the node 3. So let's say uh, the left subtree here is 9. So the maximum depth for 9 will be, uh, again we need to do the same process, maximum depth of its left subtree and maximum depth of its right subtree then consider a maximum of these two then add one to it to consider the node 9 so here uh, node 9 doesn't have any left and right subtrees so the maximum depth will be a 0 and you add 1 because you have you consider the node 9 so it will be maximum depth of uh, 9 will be 1 then you have the right subtree of 3 as uh, 20 15 7 so we need to calculate the maximum depth for, for this tree so again, uh, now you repeat the process again. So we consider 20 as the root and you have left subtree as 15 and right subtree as 7. So you need to uh, calculate uh, maximum depth for uh, left and right subtree separately. Then you add 1 to it, maximum of these two. So you have left subtree of 20 as 15. So it's uh, so it doesn't have left and right subtree. So you uh, calculate its ma uh, max depth as 1, one for uh, considering node 15, 1 plus 0. Then you have right subtree of 20 as 7. So again, it doesn't have a left and right subtree. So it will be maximum depth will be 0 plus 1. 1 to consider the node 7. So now you have got the maximum depth three of maximum depth of left subtree and right subtree of 20. Now you need to consider maximum of these two. So maximum of 1 and 1 is again 1. So 1, then you have to add 1 to it because you need to consider the node 20. So the maximum depth of uh, uh, tree uh, with the root 20 will be 2. Now you got maximum depth of left subtree and right subtree of the node 3. So left subtree max depth is 1, right subtree max depth is 2. So now maximum of these two is 2. And then you have to add a 1 to it because you have to consider the node 3 along the path. So it will be 3. So the maximum, the max depth here will be the right subtree is having a max depth of 2, 2 plus 1, 3. So the max depth of the binary tree with root 3 will be 3 here. So uh, if you have seen, if you have closely observed this, we have been repeating the process of calculating maximum depth for a given uh, subtree. So this is a repetitive process. 
so whenever we have uh, something like this which we are repeating again and again it is always best to use a recursion method so as you know uh, using recursion these kind of problems especially binary binary tree problems can be solved very easily so uh, to use recursion we need to uh, remember two important things so the first thing is the base condition so the base condition is very important because you have, you have been doing uh, uh, a given task repeatedly so, yeah, so you will be calling the same function again and again in a loop in the sense uh, uh, within the function you call same function again so it will go in a loop it will go uh, like an infinite loop so you need to break that loop at one point so that is what is called the base condition so how do you break this uh, how do you use the base condition so here uh, we are stopping our process whenever we get a uh, node or whenever we get a left subtree or right subtree as null so when you have a node uh, with when you have a node uh, uh, with null then you have to stop your uh, process so the base condition will be node being null then the second important thing is what is the object of our recursive function so what we are going to calculate in this function so our objective here is to find the maximum depth for a given one node for a given subtree with the, with a particular node as the root so that will be our objective so we need to calculate the maximum depth of the given node so these two are the important things to consider for the recursive function so probably by this time you, you should have got uh, what how we are going to code this problem so let's go back and check the code let's write some code okay so we are going to write in a recursive manner so probably we will use the same function so we will call the same function again and again to calculate the max depth so as we discussed the base condition should be if the node is null we have to return so here node is root so if root equal to null we just return uh, 0 so the max depth will be 0 so let's say in our example the node 9 has a left subtree and right subtree as null so when you can uh, encounter a uh, subtree or node with null so you just return the length as 0 depth as 0 now for that node if the node is not null so what should be the maximum depth so its maximum depth will be 1 plus we need to calculate maximum depth of its left subtree and right subtree and we need to consider maximum of those two so we need to calculate max depth of root of left and we need to calculate again max depth of root of right 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 subtree then consider maximum of these two so we need to consider maximum of these two and you add one to it because you have to consider the current node in that max depth then return that so this should be your uh, answer so let's execute and see So you need to check root equal to null. Yeah, so it works fine. So let's submit and check what is the time complexity. Yeah, so execution time is 16 milliseconds and memory uh, we are not using much so if we consider here we are not using any uh, memory except that we are using a recursive stack and you use a recursive function it stores the node values in the, recur in the recursion stack so that is the uh, uh, space that we use probably that will be like uh, in the order of n if you have n nodes you will store uh, n nodes in the stack yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do provide your feedback. Thank you.